Welcome to a review video for your final review. This should be for the first semester in Algebra 1, so we should be in December right now. Um, because I reuse these videos from year to year, the problem number over here might not match what you're used to. Um, for example, although this is problem 1 in the year 2017, next year this might be problem 2, so on and so forth. Uh, with every problem, I try to give you at least two ways to solve it, so let's dive into it. Uh, for this problem, it looks like a, just a simple solving of equations. Um, I would suggest maybe following a few simple steps. Um, your first step is always to try distributive property. However, I don't see any parentheses there, so we're probably not going to do that. Second is we, of course, need to combine like terms. And when you combine like terms, you only do that on either side of the equal sign. So you might want to look over here. That's one side for now, right? Um, and we're going to go ahead and combine like terms. The only like terms I see are 5x and positive 2x. When we combine those together, we get 7x. Don't forget the negative 2 is going to tag along. The other side, there are no like terms, so it stays like so. Um, at this point, you actually should be able to stop on this problem because you might recognize oh, that the left side and the right side are exactly the same. And whenever that happens, because we're trying to find a number that makes the left side equal to the right side, um, that tells us that this will be infinitely many solutions. Any number you plug in for x, because you have to plug the same number in on both sides, will make the left side and the right side equal. However, you might not notice that yet, so you can keep solving. Who knows, maybe you would add 2 to both sides, right? At this point, we're just following our SAD map. We do addition and subtraction first, then multiplication and division, and then lastly, we finish with exponents and parentheses. SAD map, it's PEMDAS backwards, though I wrote that backwards. There we go. Um, so over back over here, we end up with 7x equal to 7x, left side still equal to the right. Maybe you even decide to divide by 7. It's a great move, but that leaves us with x equals x. You could even subtract x from both sides. But no matter what step you do on this problem, after you combine like terms, after you get past here, the left side is always equal to the right. Anytime you finish with a true statement and all your variables cancel out, that is a giveaway. This is infinitely many solutions. I did mention I'd give you two ways to do this problem. Uh, the second way is normally a pretty common guess and check. So imagine you thought the answer was zero. Well, we would say, okay, if I plug 0 in for x up here, does that make the left side equal to the right? And as you follow PEMDAS on this side, we'll end up with 0 minus 2 plus 0 equal to 0 minus 2. Well, 0 minus 2 is negative 2, plus 0 is negative 2, and the right side's negative 2. And that tells us, ooh, x equals 0 works. But the hard part with plugging a number in, with doing guess and check, is we need to make sure none of the others work too. So let's also try x equals 1. And when you try x equals 1, you should already know what's going to happen because we already know the answer is infinitely many solutions. My guess is that 1 is going to work. So let's see. We get 5 minus 2 plus 2 equals 7 minus 2. 5 minus 2 is 3. 3 plus 2 is 5. 7 minus 2 is 5. The left side equals the right here. As soon as we have two answers that work, we know that's got to be infinitely many solutions.